5.4 question number 2 okay the sum of the third and the seventh term is given 6 sum of the third and seventh term is given 6 so what is the third term of the arithmetic progression the third term will be a plus 2d and the seventh term will be a plus 6d so here we are going to get a linear equation and two variable 2a plus 8d is 6 or we can simplify by taking two common we get a plus 4d is 3 and from here we can say a equal to 3 minus 4d they have also given to you that the sum of the third and seventh is 6 and the second part they have given that the product of the third and seventh term is 8 right the product of the third and seventh term is 8 so we can make another equation using this that is a plus 2d that is the third term multiplied by the seventh term that is a plus 6d is 8 right so here i am going to substitute this value of a that we have got we had already found out that a is 3 minus 4d this value i can put here to simplify it so instead of a i am putting 3 minus 4d plus 2d as it is here also i am putting a as 3 minus 4d plus 6d as it is and when you solve this you will get 3 minus 2d 3 plus 2d which is in the form of a plus b a minus b now this is an identity which is a square minus b square so 9 minus 4d square is 8 solving this we get 9 minus 8 that is 1 is 4d square d square is 1 by 4 so d will be root of 1 by 4 and root of 1 by 4 please remember to take the plus minus case plus half and minus half because mostly what students do is root 1 by 4 1 by 2 okay so that will be a problem because that will be incomplete you will lose marks so what you need to do is that you need to take the positive and the negative case so plus minus 1 by 2 now we are going to take the value of d as half positive case first so if d is 1 by 2 if d is 1 by 2 then what will be the value of a a we know is 3 minus 4d put the value of d as 1 by 2 2 and 4 gets cancelled here so 3 minus 2 the value of a is coming 1 so if d is half then a is 1 now we had another value of d that is negative half that i am going to put so a is 3 minus 4d and instead of positive half now i am going to take negative half when i solve this 2 and uh, uh, 4 will cancel twice minus 2 into minus 1 will get plus 2 so 3 plus 2 we are getting 5 okay so this is the second possibility that when d is negative half a will be positive 5 now we'll have to do both these cases individually so first i am taking the first case that d is half and a is 1 so we had substituted here d is half and we got a as 1 so that i am putting here question is now find out the sum of the first 16 terms s 16 so i am using the formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d n is 16 a value is 1 and d value we have found out as 1 by 2 so i am solving this i will get the value of sum of 16 terms as 76 so this is one possible answer but don't leave it here because we also have a case 2 and what is that case 2 when d is negative half a value was 5 so this also we will get another answer again we are using the same formula but what we are doing is that instead of a and d we are putting these values as 5 and minus half so when you solve this you will get another possible answer that is 20 so here in this question you will have two possible answers that sum of 16 terms can be either 76 or sum of 16 terms can be 20